I'll show you how to display your profile image in Gmail like this one here. This will work with any custom email, even if it's not Gmail or workspace email. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I help creators with the tech. Let's, create, let's get started by going to the Google account sign up page and I'll leave the link to this page in the description. So you come to this URL and this is where you create Google account, not Gmail account, yeah? And then you just click on create account, give your name and then just enter your birthday, up to you if you want to be truthful here. Hit next. And this is important. You need to choose from here that you use your email address. Don't create a Gmail if you already have another email that you want to use with your Google account. And then hit next. And next it will ask you to verify your email address. So this will come to your email address they already done to your business address. And just go ahead there and enter the code. And then just add a password and click on next. And if you want to, you can add a phone number, but I'm going to skip that step. And then he asks you to review account information, double check that you have the right email and so on. And then click on next. And this one, this question is strange. So you would think the express is better, but actually it'll just, uh, it'll set all the tracking that is possible. So if you uh, click on manually, you can actually choose what Google tracks. So I'm gonna click on choose. These questions might change, so just go through them. But in most cases, you don't want to give uh, permission if you don't want to be tracked. But in some cases, maybe you want to be, you want to see, uh, you know, ads that are more tailored to you. Maybe you just want to learn what, how Google does it and so on. So for me, I, I'm going to answer all these questions and then skip to the next step where I will review everything. And this is what I've agreed to. And just confirm that you agree to the terms and conditions if you do agree with it. Okay, now your Google account is ready. Um, I'm not going to show you how to set this up, so I'm just going to click on not now. And then here in your Google account dashboard, go to the top right corner and click on the icon here. Here, just click again on the icon, on this pen icon here, you see. And now you can add a photo. You can, you can add a uh, profile pic here. So just go ahead and upload your photo. And I'm going to upload it and just click on next one I'm happy with and save profile picture. All right, now it's saving it and that's it. It's now added it. Just double check that it's visible to anyone here. It should be by default. So now you just need to wait for two to three hours and then the icon will start appearing in your Gmail. Now, the cool thing is it actually even appears to emails that you already sent. So if somebody looks at it now, in, well, in a few hours, they're gonna see your uh, profile picture there. So it does this all automatic and all the emails after this will also have your profile pic in the email. And just remember, this is only for Google mails. So if you send it to an Outlook email, you're not gonna see this. And hey, if you're trying to write an email newsletter, but you're just end up staring at the blank page, having no idea what to write about, then check out my free email templates where I've created a few starting points for an email newsletter. These templates give you a uh, let's say a format that's proven to perform online. And all you have to do is fill in the blanks, grab it from the link in the video description down below. Now you know how to add a profile image for Gmail users, but it's really hard to earn your first dollar from your newsletter. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn how a thousand creators made their first dollar.